if I go to the beach and I don't have a six pack. Make the most of the little summers we've got left as teenagers. everyone and welcome to today's video so this is the start of my summer health and fitness series I'm just gonna start by saying obviously summer becomes a time where lots of people get conscious about their body because you know everyone's going to the beach and stuff and wearing bikinis and a couple years ago for like three to four years summer stressed me out so much because i wanted to have like the most fittest and perfectly toned body and stuff and it really consumed me and i literally i just missed the point of summer like i just i completely wasted them these years stressing about my body when i could have just been like you know what shut up paris just put on bathers and go to the beach and have fun and just live your life i want this series to help you all if you are kind of struggling with that or you want to, you know, get a bit fitter for summer or whatever, but you don't want to, like, let it consume you. And you just want to have a good time, a good peace of mind. And So throughout this series, I'm going to be showing you all tips and tricks and stuff. Some recipes for summer. Um, lots of advice on having a healthy mindset and, like, body image and all of that jazz. I'll be showing you all some workouts. Yeah, pretty much it's just going to be, hopefully, some sort of motivation to kind of get rid of that whole bikini body term in your brain somehow miraculously this year i think with just the people i've been surrounding myself with i've just been like you know what i am who i am i look the way i look i work hard to be fit and healthy and i'm proud of where i am at at the end of the day i don't care if i don't have the most toned lean you know abs and if anyone is here to judge me or you know put me down or pick my body apart it just says everything about them and like if you're happy in your own skin you won't feel the need to pick up other people to make yourself feel good that's kind of my little debrief rant into this video this one specifically is just going to focus on my workout schedule for the next two weeks i'm gonna have a bit of advice in here about summer body mindset and then also some meal prepping and hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it this morning i got up at 5.30, I went to the gym at 6 to do a class, I went for an hour, I've just gotten back, as you can tell. Um, but I'm going to insert a video of a workout that I did two days ago. And these are the style of workouts that I'm doing now, so they're still from the Natasha Ocean um, fitness app. They're like more focused on building strength. I absolutely love her program, I find the workouts are really like fun and they're not boring at all. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my workout. So I'm just going to have a quick chat about, you know, that whole bikini body term and pressures. I always had the idea going into summer that, you know, you had to have toned stomach and you just had to look toned for summer. Around summertime, I'd get really stressed about like what I was eating and I'd try and be as healthy as I could and work out a lot. But then looking back at it, like I wasted so many days and nights and like, my mindset was just all messed up just over this idea of just having a freaking toned stomach. Like, who cares? I don't even remember that summer. Like, I don't even remember anything about them summers b besides, like, how stressed I was about that, like, 
is that how you want to look back on your childhood years just thinking oh i remember my summer in like 2020 yeah i just cared about how i looked in bathers like i didn't i, I don't remember doing anything like fun as didn't have any good memories i can't really say i laughed a lot had time with my friends i was just um you know worried about how i look like do you want to have that mindset looking back at all of your like teenage years i don't think so like you gotta ask yourself what is going to happen if i go to the beach and i don't have a six pack nothing's going to happen right people don't actually care what other people look like it's only on social media when you're posting your body all over everywhere that people feel the need to like add their comments and stuff or like it or not like it, whatever. It's very unlikely for people to be so foul and petty in person because they just don't, and people aren't brave enough to be rude in person. At the end of the day, you want to be able to go to the beach exploring or having fun, whatever, with your friends without worrying about how you look like. You just want to be able to laugh and have fun and just forget about everything and just enjoy your time. And yes, of course, like if you want to feel a bit fitter and all of that stuff, there's not an issue with that, but don't just make it a summer thing. If you are genuinely interested in fitness and health and looking after your body, you're going to want to do it all year round. You're not always going to be motivated. I'm not always motivated. But if it's becoming like a lifestyle habit, you at least make time. Not even to go to the gym, just to go for a walk, go for a run, swim, bike ride. Fitness does not just mean the gym. You got to look about how you're spending your summer, like as a whole, like what do you want to achieve this summer? Have you got a bucket list? So that's like the majority of my rant. But now moving on to one other thing, which I'm going to get into in a second, is writing up a summer bucket list. Because this will also help take you away from just worrying about how you look. I'm going to give you other exciting things to look forward to and, you know, be proud of accomplishing things that you can actually tick off. So please stop thinking about it and let's just make the most of the little summers we've got left as teenagers, all right? Now let's go make a summer bucket list. Where's my pen? All right, so I've just got out a piece of paper, but I'm gonna like type this up later and make it all pretty well. Summer bucket list. As I said before, this is a great way to take your mind off of things and give you fun things to do rather than, you know, always thinking about how you look. You can actually have stuff that you've achieved this summer and fun things and fun memories to look back on. All right, summer bucket list. This is not the neatest work of mine, but you know what? I'm writing on a lid. In no particular order. I want to go to some place called Second Valley. I want to go jetty jumping. I want to catch a fish. Um, I want to go on a hike. I would like to. Christmas is in summer too. Ah! Oh, I can't wait for Christmas. Put up Xmas lights. God, I haven't wrote the word Christmas in a long time. All right, and then I just want to do um, create new vision board. I need to like revamp my vision board because that's old and crusty and just bad vibes. Camping again. I'm not sure what else I can do. I want to go to latitude. I want to swim in a quarry, fix up this room. Like I want to achieve something like career wise. Get organized with my fitness stuff like Cert 4. I want to do stuff with YouTube. It's exciting and I can't wait for next year's Christmas as well as this year's because I'm not, next year I'm going to hopefully do some Christmas merch. All right, so here is my um, little list. I'm going to type that up, make it pretty. And I encourage you all after this video to write down your summer bucket list. And then the most satisfying thing is throughout summer you can look at it. What am I going to do today? Hmm, I might go do this and you can tick it off when you're done and it is very satisfying Alrighty, welcome to the kitchen ladies and gentlemen next little segment of this video is me actually making some healthy food for once i have told myself that i want to make either like banana bread or granola or something since i moved into this house and i am yet to do it so it is time you know we get on to that i am going to be showing you all a granola recipe um because it is just something that I use all the time and it's so cheap and easy to make. You can use it in so many different things and it is very handy to have on hand. I find making healthy snacks is just like 
it's fun and also motivating and I like it a lot. Don't mind the attire by the way. I want to be comfortable tonight. I'm having a relaxing afternoon. Ooh, we got a fancy one. I love when people clean the dishes. Well, but how do people just get off on that thinking that's acceptable? I need a preheat the oven, I don't know how it works. I've had the ingredients for so long. Gross, you silly girl. Pretty much just using everything in my pantry. Oh, I've got a lot of jars in it. I reckon that'll work. Oil! Oh. We've got to add about a couple of dates to a cup so we can boil them. I'm gonna make a big batch, I reckon. So, one cup. I feel like when you have healthier foods on hand, it just makes it so much easier for you to want to eat healthy because it's just there for you. One cup of puffed quinoa. You can use like whatever grains and stuff you want if you're gluten free. French up some nuts. Right now, adding a bit of pea pepitas. Just a bit of seeds and stuff, you know, for extra variety. A sprinkle of chia seeds. Chuck the water in there with the dates because these soaking them like that makes them really soft and stuff and they're so much easier to like cook with. Alright, and then we mix. Might add some more of you. Some pecans. These are my favourite nuts. What I'm gonna do is add in some protein because it gives it a nice flavour and shakes up the macronutrients in there. This is Botanica Blends. Vanilla cake batter, my favorite. While I've got some, I'm gonna add some cacao powder in there. Use it up, why don't you? Chuck in some cinnamon. Are you done yet or? My patience is low. All right, and then we grab out my blendy stick and then I'm gonna mash these up first and we're gonna add the rest of the stuff. Don't you dare. I'm gonna scoop out um, the date stuff into the bowl and the dates are a natural sweetener so instead of adding a calm down instead of adding like heaps of sugar and stuff just use dates we're gonna add some rice malt syrup which is another good choice of sweetener bit of coconut oil and a bit of peanut butter too Right, I'm determined to carry this all in one go. No, your limits. Oh! Brings me back to my waitress days. And I'm also going to add in just that much of a banana. And then we mix. Takes a little bit of stirring, but trust me. This is a good amount of liquid to dry ratio. Oh, crap. Get yourself some non-stick baking paper. Right, hopefully we get some like nice chunkies out of this. I hope this works. Bye bye. Alright, here we end. We are done. Didn't all fit, in, fit in that one, so I've chucked a little bit in there. And that is my granola. And that will last me a good while. Oh no, that looks bad again. Whoa! Alright, everyone, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the start to this new series and got some new inspiration and ideas. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe. All that jazz and. Keep an eye out for more videos like this one.